Hi everybody, Tim Bartz here, your Ford video guy for, uh, of course, your source for news, update, and information, especially your Maverick information on a Maverick Monday, right? Uh, today, I kind of have some fun here because we're going to show you some things that you could expect on the 2025 Ford Maverick, every Ford Maverick, no matter what trim level you have, we're going to go over that digital instrument cluster, what it's going to look like. It's now an 8-inch digital cluster, which is the biggest one we've seen. Even if you had a Lariat or maybe a Tremor last year, it was a 6.5-inch screen uh, with some capabilities. This is an 8-inch screen here, and uh, so we're going to go through the instrument cluster. We're going to show you where everything's positioned, what it looks like on the instrument cluster, and we're going to talk about that 13.2-inch screen as well in the center stack. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're going to have some fun on this video, so hopefully you're subscribed. Notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of these Maverick Monday videos or catch our live streams and our other videos as well on this channel. But let's get started. I do have a 2024 Ford Escape here on our lot. This is an ST line. All the ST lines in the Escape for 2023, 24, and even 25 are going to come standard with the 8-inch uh, instrument cluster screen. And we'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Uh, they're all going to come standard with that 8-inch screen. Now, on an Escape, when you have a Tech Package 2, then you actually get upgraded to a 12.3-inch screen. But luckily, this only has a Tech Package 1 on it, so we're able to show you what that digital cluster is going to look like on the Ford Maverick. So let's jump in here and show you what this looks like. I do have it running, uh, but I got the windows rolled down because I don't want the AC running and messing with any of my audio here. Um, I know my seatbelt's not on. Um, we're going to get rid of this here. Come on. There we go. So this is when we're talking about the digital cluster. We're talking about, I like to call it the productivity screen. So we used to call it back in the day, but it's basically what you see through the steering wheel uh, when you're driving. So that's what we're going to talk about in this. And, uh, and so this is, as you can see, 8 inch. So you can see where that screen kind of cuts off right there and it and goes on over to, to the other side over there. So it's an 8 inch screen here, which, you know, think about that. 8 inch screen in, the, in, this, in here was as big as the center stack screen was last year. <laughs> if that's to reference anything and give you that, then there we go. Quickly, before we get into the productivity screen, here is the standard screen that you're going to have on all of your Mavericks for 2025 model year. It is the 13.2 inch screen with the Sync 4, just exactly like it is in this Escape right here. Um, and uh, I've done a video on this, so I'm going to link it at the end of this video. It's the video to the uh, where I actually went through this screen, where everything's located and everything. We have a lot of people that are a little frustrated that they're missing your knobs for your AC. I don't have them anymore, Tim. I don't like that. There's a dial for your radio uh, and, and some uh, four little quick buttons here, but that's it. Push button start. Everything else I have to do on the screen, I have to touch it. Uh, I don't think I like that. So I want to I want to show you briefly before we get in the productivity screen or that instrument cluster screen, just how simple this is. Now, one of the things I do like about these is there are four buttons here, but they're quick buttons. So before, and I don't know if the Maverick's going to be this way, but your this is your your different drive modes watch how simple this is i just press this button and the drive modes are up here i just press what i want eco i'm done i can hit home and i'm out of it whereas on the dial before you had to keep pressing the button over and over and over to get to the drive mode that you want or in like my my bronco i have to keep turning the dial until i get to the one i want keep turning keep turning this in here you just press it so just press there and just press the button and you're there, you're done. That's simple, I like that. Very very simple and easy. Um, if you need that defrost, you get in here and it's cold out, those windows are defrosted, boom, press the button, max defrost, you're, there you go. I wish they had one more button and that was max AC, right, <laughs> the hot days, but it is what it is. Uh, this is to, to shut off the uh, auto start stop, um, deactivate that. Um, right now, actually it's not working because it's warm enough outside that it's not doing that and then this in here that button there that's your driver assist so if i press this button i'm going to zoom out here it automatically pulls up your driver assistance and hit additional features and they're right there you don't have to go digging and looking for being able to adjust your lane keeping your pre collision assist your bliss right if you have the um the lariat trim or tremor 
or Lobo, you would have the adaptive cruise. You don't have to go searching for it. You can adjust it right there uh, along with your predictive speed assist uh, and all that uh, and your lane centering and all that. Uh, so we're gonna go out of that. Now, also you can get to it from the screen hitting features and then hitting driver assist. Uh, but also you have the button down there. So anyway, let me show you how easy it is though because uh, a lot of people are concerned about the climate. I wanna be able to turn my climate easily. I have a dial, I can do that. But check this out, look how easy this is. I just want it there. That fan's gonna start blowing pretty cold. You can hear it going, it's a, and it goes away. You don't have to then close it and do all this. You just press it and go, you know what, I don't want that on. If you wanna close it quick class because it drives you nuts, then just hit the arrow. But otherwise, you can just let it close. Uh, the, your auto buttons are right there really nice and easy. Your max defrost, your AC, uh, your dual climate, if you have dual climate, are right here. So I can just press that and there's the temperature. It tells you, it tells you what the temperature is. It's, it's not that difficult to do. Um, and a lot of people are like, well, Tim, it's not that it's difficult. It's just, I would rather have a dial or a button, a physical button, and I get that. Uh, but very simple and easy to use. Heated seats the same way. But that's not what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's go over here to the productivity screen or to the digital clusters, they call it. Eight inch screen in the middle. We do have the temperature on the left side that's gonna always be there and your fuel on the, and the right side. Um, yeah, down at the bottom, you're gonna see the numbers. It uh, shows how many miles driven. There you go. And temperature outside, what gear you're in there on the bottom as well as your auto start stop. And then on the right, how many miles to empty? We only have 21 miles to empty. so. We won't be in here uh, using too much of that, but nice clean look. We do have the speed digital speedometer right there. Uh, so we're gonna go into these different settings. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be using these buttons and I'm not gonna highlight it every time, but this is your menu button. So you're gonna see when I press that, it's gonna bring up that menu over there. And uh, we're gonna use these, the switch here to move up and down, as you can see us, see that? And then you're gonna press okay to highlight. So if I'm in audio, I just press okay and it's gonna go into that, right? So, and then if I go, oh, didn't want that one, you hit this back and it's gonna take it back, right? Uh, so that's how we're gonna, that's the buttons we're gonna use. And I won't talk about it. I'll probably say I'm going up and down, I'm hitting okay, but I won't like re-show you this because I wanna give you guys close-ups of this. So the My View is what I like to use the most. You can configure your My View. So right now, we have Now Playing, Trip One, Fuel Economy. Hold on, I'm gonna put this phone to where I can there you go fuel economy tire pressure right and then I can hit configure view that allows me to pick what I want and you can't pick all of them but you can decide which ones you want if you want the eco coach to say hey I want to get the best fuel economy I want it to train me and teach me what to do you can do that uh, you can decide fuel economy whatever you want right there um, you pick those views and then hit just hit your back button to go back and then um, that makes it a little bit easier and then when I go back so there's your what you want so then you just press the, the one you want hey I want fuel economy whatever how are they doing on this in 79 miles not very good anyway it gives you that fuel, fuel economy and that will stay over there on the right side if you click that right so that's pretty nice now if I hit menu then I can come out of that and go into whatever now the next one down is trip trip and fuel that's that's all about fuel economy and your and your driving trip like how you know your trip let's go into this trip one that's basically showing you your how many how long you've been driving in this trip how many miles you've uh, put on it as well your fuel economy and your average I think that's your average miles per hour so right there kind of, kind of shows you that so we're gonna hit back oh and that so if I hit back it takes you back to that screen go back to menu and trip and fuel so that kind of gives you that idea fuel economy uh, Eco Coach, you click on that, it kind of gives you, you press OK for more information and kind of gives you how you're doing accelerating, decelerating, speed, especially for those hybrid engines. This is going to be very essential to, to knowing uh, that you want to try to get, you know, do the best you can on all these. So uh, this particular vehicle is doing pretty good on that, but it's just kind of start. I keep hitting back. All right. And then, so that's pretty much all of that. Now, the status information, just click into that and that gets that allows you to show hey how many people are putting their, who has their seatbelt on nobody even the driver that's sitting in there so it's red if there's somebody sitting there if they're not seatbelts on although it's green i think check marked if somebody does put their uh put it on so there you go there's that um and then vehicle maintenance this gives you what's your tire pressure look like 
right? We're, ooh, looks like we got a, we're a little lopsided. Maybe it's my heavy weight over here on the left side, but uh, 32 on the two on the left, and then 34 and 33 on the, the front and rear on the right side. Um, so there you go, there's that. And then oil life, 100%. That's good, because it's a brand new vehicle, I hope so. Go on down, we have audio. So click under there. That gives me my presets. Uh, you can set those in the screen, on the touch screen on the side. Uh, gives you the presets if you want to go to AM. You can click on that and then you can go ahead and just it actually brings it over here on the on the side it just switches it over easily doing it here with the buttons on the steering wheel then having to go to the touch screen is the, the goal on that so you can pick your Sirius and such like that go on down we do have phone no phones connected but that's where all your phone things are at and then your settings so you can go into settings and there's your display and click display and so this allows you to be able to adjust how that looks on that 8 inch screen right there for you. So uh, it says left gauge, none. So I can click on left gauge and go, I want the tachometer. Because some people ask about that. I want that physical tachometer, uh, why not, right? And then you have the classic, and then down here, secondary speedometer. I'm gonna check box that. You see that? That has, that gives you the kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Some people like go back and forth from Canada right you might need that secondary one let's go to up here where it says classic view right you can say I want the round speedometer gauge instead some people ask me that it's like I want the digital oh, man I, I really wish it had the regular ones well folks I think we just did it so there you go so that gives you that your tachometer it's a tachometer meter that goes up right over here on the left side and then the speedometer right there so if you want that look in the middle you have your digital but then you also have the ta the uh, actual gauge that goes around. So that is how you get to that. So I've had some people ask me like, oh, I don't like that. I, I, I like seeing my speedometer um, and all that. Well, there you go. That's how you get to that is right there in the settings under your display there. That's the only thing op option in here. Uh, you can get to that right there. So you want that round view instead. I'll take it back to digital for now. Uh, let the, previous, the, the owner do that. And so there you go. That's kind of that setting. Now I think we went ahead. We left the tachometer over there on the left, so we can leave that. Go into menu. Oop. There you go. Settings, display. I'm hitting OK on all these, and then we're going to go up to this left gauge. So uh, basically, the only thing, only option you have on that is your tachometer if you want that. So there you go. So a uh, pretty uh, big. It's kind of an overview, but mainly this productivity screen is all about functionality and quick things while you're driving, not to get you distracted too much, but you can change how that look is. Uh, so I wanted to kind of do a quick video on that and uh, also kind of uh, showing you a little bit of the screen too. Now, don't forget to check out the video I did on this screen. Um, it's been a, about a month or two. I'll, I'll link it at the end of this video where we kind of went over what that screen's going to look like on the new Maverick. At the time, we didn't know for sure we're getting it. Now we do know, so check out that video if you want to know exactly how everything functions in this screen and, how, and where everything's located uh, before you get your Maverick. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on this Maverick Monday, and uh, drop down the comments. I want to know what you think. Um, you know, I like the clean look of, of everything in here, and uh, also let me know what you think. Now, one of the things I will uh, forgot to mention here is if you do have like the FX4 or the Tremor, you will also have an off-road cluster in there too, so you can go in. So when you go into off-road mode, then it'll also give you some information like pitch and your uh, pitch and roll. Also, you know, whether or not your roll locker's on and be able to see that on the front or rear, that kind of thing. So it'll actually give you some off-road um, functionalities and some off-road stats that you might need if you're going off-road with your Maverick. So you'll, you'll want those. Um, but otherwise, everything else I've kind of uh, showed you should be what you're going to see on your 2025 Ford Maverick. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Put it down in the comments. I want to know any other things you'd like to hear and know about that we can talk about for the 25 Ford Maverick. Any questions you might have that we can answer here on our Maverick Monday video. And uh, hopefully you guys do check out our live streams every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central, uh, where we go over all the scheduling information. So if you have that order placed, you're gonna wanna check those videos out. And on our live streams, I'll answer any questions you might have live on the live stream for you. We answer everybody's questions if you're, if you're there. 
Otherwise, check out our Wednesday scheduling video where we go over just the scheduling information from the live stream in a video on Wednesday nights. If you have had that order placed and you want to know what's going on, whether or not they're going to schedule that week or not, you can check those videos out for that information as well. So make sure you're subscribed, notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of this good juicy details. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and have a wonderful Maverick Monday.